I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 archery facts that hit the bullseye. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, the puns are my job. Twenty-five. A strong Paralympic history. The first official Paralympic Games were held in Rome in 1960. Eight sports debuted, including archery. Though the sport began for veterans with World War II spinal cord injuries, it has opened up over time to include all athletes. Other sports at the first games included wheelchair fencing and table tennis. 24. National Sport Archery is the national sport of Bhutan, a mountainous Himalayan country just north of India. Almost every village has an archery range, but since it's a Buddhist country, archery is only for sport. 23. Pulling a Robin Hood Famous do-gooder Robin Hood was reputed to be an expert at the bow. Legends of the bowmen have become so popular that splitting an arrow with another is now referred to as a Robin Hood. Love that scene. It's a great scene. In Brave. No! <laughs> she does it in Brave. Don't care. <laughs> 22. Archery in Astrology The astrological sign Sagittarius is named after its constellation of the same name, not to be confused with the constellation Sagitta, the era. This zodiac sign is depicted as a centaur pulling back on a bow, ready to fire its arrow. I still need an arrow. 21. Archery's History Archery began in ancient Babylon and Egypt as a hunting tactic, but was soon adopted into warfare. Once it spread to Asia and the Middle East, its purpose broadened into sport. 20. Mounted Archery Mounted archery, the use of bows and arrows while atop a mount, such as a horse, gained prominence during the Iron Age. It was a much more efficient killing method than the chariots used during the Bronze Age. 19. Archery gets an upshot It took centuries for archery to advance beyond its basic roots. In the early 20th century, a group of scientists and engineers used high-speed photography to analyze different bow and arrow designs. The culmination was the 1947 book, Archery, the Technical Side, which led to new innovations, such as fiberglass bows and making the bow grip more like a pistol handle. 18. Landing on the Line When an arrow hits the line between two circles, points are awarded for the higher score. This situation is called a line breaker. 17. Toxophilites A toxophilite is the name for an archer, coming from the Greek words for lover of the bow. Toxophily is the study of archery, and Toxophilus was the first book written on archery in 1545 by Roger Ascham. 16. Hitting the Bullseye Though archery may look easy to the uninitiated, scoring within the central gold ring is the equivalent of hitting a beer coaster, seven bus lengths away. 15. Archery in Mythology Archery has long been featured in the mythology of many cultures, from the gods Artemis and Apollo for the Greeks, to Osusi for the West African Yorubas, to Arjuna and Shiva for the Hindus. 14. The First Olympic Archery Targets Archers participating in the 1900 Olympic Games used live pigeons as targets. Things have sure changed since then. 13. Women in the Olympics Archery was the first Olympic sport in which women were allowed to compete. Eliza Polak, a one-time gold and two-times bronze medalist in archery, is the oldest female Olympic medalist, having won in 1904 when she was 63 years old. 12. A Sacred Sport Archery was revered so highly in ancient Tahiti that it was considered a sacred sport. Only high-ranking Tahitians were allowed to play. 11. Which hand archers shoot with? Archers shoot with their dominant eye, not their dominant hand. Thus, even if an archer is right-handed, like myself, he or she may shoot with their left hand, like I do. So, like this. Now, an easy way to tell which is your dominant eye, what you wanna do is you wanna take your hands and make a triangle like this, and you wanna put it up and you wanna focus on something. Right now I'm focused on the camera lens. With both eyes open, you close one and then the other. In one of them, you're gonna still see the object in one of your eyes, but not with the other. The one that you still see the object with is your dominant eye. 10. The Six Noble Arts. Archery was one of the ancient Chinese's six noble arts, the basis of education which also included mathematics, music, and charioteering. Men who perfected the six arts were known as Junzi, 
the perfect gentleman. Over the past few years, archery has experienced renewed popularity in China. 9. The Banning of Archery Legend has it that King James II banned the sport of golf in Scotland in 1457. Why? He thought men were wasting time playing golf when they could instead be practicing their archery skills. Over a century before, King Henry VIII decreed all men had to practice their archery skills after Sunday church service. You look so cool on that bow. Thank you. I'm being sarcastic. I'm not. 8. 3D Archery With the rise of guns, the use of bows and arrows has declined in hunting. A new field of archery, 3D archery, forgoes the old weapons and has hunters fire at life-size animal models. 7. Ski archery. If 3D archery wasn't cool enough on our list of awesomely accurate archery facts, have you heard of ski archery? While skiing cross country, archers shoot at targets along the trail while slaloming. 6. Modern day advancements. Modern day archery has become quite advanced. Nowadays, archers can choose from electronic sights, which help them hone in on the target, stabilizers, which dampen user movement while shooting, and compound bows, where the string's tension is achieved through a system of pulleys. Me, I just go for the simple recurve bow. 5. Marking arrows. Most archery competitions require a sharpshooter to carve or engrave their name into the arrows. 4. Skilled bowmen. A long bowman in the Middle Ages could fire an arrow every five to six seconds. That's a rate of up to 12 arrows per minute. This skill helped England trounce the French at the Battle of Cressy in 1346, where 2,000 French soldiers were killed, compared to 50 Englishmen. It seems the king's insistence on archery really took off. Or should I say, really hit the mark. You should not say that. <laughs> you should never say that. Okay. Three. The French make up for their losses. The French blame their defeat at the Battle of Cressy on leaving their crossbows out in the rain. They've since learned their lesson and are now the country which has competed the most times in Olympic archery. 2. Katniss Everdeen skills with a bow and arrow. Katniss Everdeen, the sharpshooting archer in the Hunger Games, was taught by five-time U.S. Olympic archery champion Katuna Lorig. I was not. I'm not going to dry fire it. That's actually not good for the bow. 1. Lighting the Olympic torch with a flaming arrow. Antonio Rebollo, a Spanish Paralympic archer, lit the Olympic flame at the 1992 Olympic Games in Barcelona by firing a flaming arrow into the cauldron. Yeah, one dry fire. <laughs> and that, kids, is why you... Always wear an arm brace or wrist protector. Ow. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.